Here we go, Barbie day one. I think it's gonna be a movie that all audiences enjoy. Margaret Robbie and Ryan Gosling star in the upcoming soon-to-be fan favorite Barbie movie with a release date of July 21st in the US. where they are living it up in the land of Barbie land. However, when they get a chance to go to the real world, they soon discover the joys and parallels of living among humans, an interesting storyline that has actually caught my attention. The costumes are, are in a way, everything. I mean, it's unless you're, we unless you're dressed for it, you're not doing it. So much about the doing is what you're wearing. And I, I I, I, I know I've never had as many costume changes as this. Today we'll be going over how this film was created, where the idea of the story came from, and behind the scenes set photos. I was like, we're gonna need like 20 sound stages to build all of this, and we ended up not with 20, but with a lot of sound stages. Greta had this amazing spirit of sort of um, like goofy playfulness yeah. in the middle of this enormous production. Just recently, Margaret Robbie shared some behind the scenes secrets so we can really see what was going on, including what they had to do to get the heel scene in the trailer perfect. No, it's no no special effects. Oh, uh, well you'd be amazed how few VFX there are in this film, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know, we didn't do that many takes of it, a couple yeah. of takes, and I kind of held onto like a bar so I was steady once I stepped. We just put double-sided tape on the floor so that my shoes would stay still. I did have a pedicure that morning. <laughs> In one instantly memorable shot from the film's trailer, we see Barbie step out of her fluffy high heels, only for her feet to remain perfectly arched, just like the dolls. It's been absolutely surreal, so much fun, and having the opportunity to be directed by Greta has been an absolute dream. The energy on set's been amazing, and um, I absolutely love being Mermaid Barbie. But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What was the name of the person who inspired Barbie's name? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. <laughs> the original Ken. I don't know, I think the beautiful thing about Barbie Anna is she is from lots of places. Um, I have a very diverse background. Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling take us behind the set to see what the sets look like and the overall picture and just all of the costume changes. Walking into those environments and feeling the kind of artistry and the love and the playfulness. It just was so exciting. We are right next to Barbie's wardrobe and this is where she brushes her hair. Ivana, our hair makeup designer, and I have had a lot of fun on this job. Will Ferrell plays the CEO of Mattel in the film, and the creators had to make a world of Barbies and Kens. The cameras began rolling for the Barbie movie on March 21st, 2022. And then fusing that with what she saw for these various Barbies, like I'm Nobel Prize winning Barbie, and I'm a writer, and so what does that look like, and how do I bring myself to that? During the script's development phase, director sought guidance from the renowned filmmaker Peter Weir, known for his work on The Truman Show, to create an authentic artificial ambience for the lighting and the enchanting Barbie dreamland scenes. I mean, so emotionally, just remembering, like, standing in Toys R Us, looking at Barbies with the plastic sheet over it, and everything in you wanted to take it off and take everything apart and touch everything. Just talking about Greta wanting to go inside the box, that's actually Barbie's wardrobe. To personalize each Ken character, the art department meticulously crafted over 30 individual hobby horses, showcasing their unique traits and personalities. And say, see you on the Malibu Beach! Yeah. Uh, uh, the light. <laughs> <laughs> a, a chance to kind of improvise and encourages all of that. In fact, um, she's, I mean, her, her main thing is like, if you have something better, please, uh, I'll take it. And there were many cameos to the toy company, like the ambulance used to rescue Ken after a surfing accident 
was a life-sized replica of the toy version. They're canning all over the place. They're canning all over each other. <laughs> they're canning everywhere. And they're canning so hard that they're gonna can themselves blind if they don't stop canning. But real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. As the actor who, who maybe can't be there for whatever reason, uh, and she, I think, genuinely is having so much fun um, watching all the actors do their thing. Another interesting note is of course we see nothing besides the color pink in the movie, to the point where the production team actually used every possible drop of paint that was given to them, and it still wasn't enough. This is like the product of so many discussions and so many references, and I can't even tell you the meetings we've had about pink. We like sat with all these different kinds of pinks and we were like, what is the pink and how do the pinks interact? We also get a look at the music and what it means for the film. What Mark Ronson has done with the music in this film is unbelievable. Music's always that really fun thing that usually you, it's kind of like icing the cake. You make the cake and then at the end you're like, oh, it gets even better when we ice it. Um, but that, that, is, that doesn't even begin to cover what Mark Ronson's done. And when you look at the behind the scenes of the Barbie dream house, I think some of us forgot how the playhouses were made. Obviously you couldn't really play with it if it had four walls and you couldn't reach or see inside of it. So they made it a very open scale to the point when Barbie wakes up with only three walls and can see her neighbors who are in similar built houses. You can see Barbie has a pretty amazing view of Barbie land from here. And she can see where all her friends are, Barbie Emma's house, Barbie Anna's house, Barbie Alex's house, and over there is where Skipper and Midge live in little Skipper's treehouse thing. Taking inspiration from Palm Springs mid-century modernism, they've created a whimsical fuchsia pink fantasy where slides replace stairs and there's not a wall in sight. Getting a blue sky, we're painting white clouds on it, and when you light them, you can light them into these intense colors. So you can light pink and orange from the bottom, and blue from the top. You can really go kind of expressionistic with it. My favorite design feature is obviously the slide that goes to the pool. And now we do a whole bit in Barbie's day where she slides down the pool to go down and have her breakfast. John Cena was a cast member for this film, and we even got a behind the scenes look at his character. I was blown away with the concept. I think it's going to be a movie that all audiences enjoy. I think it's going to be a movie that invokes conversation, and I think it's going to be beautifully and visually appealing, Cena said. Kind of joyful experience, you know, and it's hella fun. <laughs> Apparently he was cast as a mermaid and Margaret Robbie asked him to be in the film and he was up for any sort of role. While we were shooting in London, I ran into him at a restaurant and we'd worked together before and I was like, well, actually I ran into him because I went to pay the bill and they were like, John Cena already took care of it. And I was like, what? <laughs> shooting at Leavesden where we shot the film as well. And I was like, that's why we're shooting Barbie. And I was like, do you want to come be a merman in Barbie? And he was like, uh, yeah. And I was wow. like, surely he's not going to agree to it just like that. And, <laughs> and Ryan Gosling revealed the reason why he agreed to play Ken. This is, this is a you took a photo of it. And this is a sign. <laughs> this is a sign that you got to do this movie. The I, utter disrespect. I texted it to Greta and I said, I shall be your Ken. <laughs> For I, his story must be told. Yeah. We even get to see what inspired the movie. Quick and loud <laughs> world when all of the Barbies and all the Kens are together. Um, I got to be in dance rehearsal with the Barbies. Sort of just, I volunteered myself to be in dance rehearsals because was I'm not in the Barbie dance. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, if you've watched the Barbie trailer over and over again, you might be familiar with one sequence showing Margaret's character meeting an older lady on a park bench who tells her, humans get one ending, ideas live forever. That woman is Barbara Handler, who the first ever Barbie was named after. She's the daughter of Barbie inventor Ruth Handler, who also named Ken after after her grandson, Kenneth. And the role is of weird Barbie. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm home. I have to, I have to have it because if you ask me to pick a role for myself, 
it would be Weird Barbie. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite and will you be planning on seeing this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. The writing in Barbie Land is actually just gibberish. It's just scribbled the way kids kind of write endless amounts of, you know, nothing, but it's all very beautiful. Thank you for coming to see the dream house. I have to get back to set now. Bye-bye.